In this video, we're going to cover the portion of the ID toolkit that relates to ELMS ID best practices. Uh, this stands for Instructional Design Best Practices, and these are being actively developed at Pennsylvania State University. So you can see it's enabled by default whenever you create a new version of a course, uh, but there are some additional settings to actually get it running for you. So if you click Settings, you'll see there's Type of Syllabus, there's with the ability to have it be just a page of content, which will set it to that, or you can actually utilize the uploaded file field here and upload a PDF of the syllabus if you want. There's help page, which will give you a page just outside of your, your traditional content outline so that you can have a, a consistent help page to point people to. There's also the instructor contact block, so this could be useful for things like office hours or find me online at 10 p.m hockey, as well as the resource list. So first I'm going to create these and we'll see what that does. I'm going to save for this area and then we're going to want to go back to the front page of this so it has a chance to refresh. And you'll see we get two additional blocks now. We have course resources which has a link to our syllabus as well as a link to help. Now these have just created blank pages. You can actually set defaults for these and we'll show that in a little bit. Uh, instructor contact has the information that I typed in there for find me at 10 p.m. So let's see how we utilize the resources area of the system to get things to populate there. So we're going to go to admin. We're going to go back out of this ID version here. We're going to click on system settings. And then we're going to click on ID best practices. In here you see we have add system application, list all applications, and ID default settings. First, we're going to add an application to the system. And so if you imagine this as a consistent resource that you're going to use throughout your courses, that might be uh, your central LMS, that might be an external service, that might be something else that's utilized fairly regularly throughout your courses, and you'd like to have consistent instructions about how to use that tool. So for this example, we're going to use YouTube. You can upload a logo associated to this, so it's just a little nicer visually. You can have a link title for the resource, website, and we're going to link to this, which is youtube.com. You can give it a short description, loading videos, and then you can also have more detailed instructions here. More detail about using YouTube here. And then we're going to save this. So this is going to create a central resource for use throughout the system. Now we're going to want to go back to system settings and ID best practices. Now I can list all those applications it will just show me YouTube. Um, what, what I want to go to now is ID default settings. So what you can do here is actually define what is activated by default when ID best practices is turned on. And so we're going to say that YouTube is a default resource here. So now any course created will come packaged with links to the directions for how to use YouTube. You might see how this could be useful uh, when you have a lot of central resources or you have a lot of tools, especially in the you know, modern era of, of the web where students are using lots of tools distributed both in and outside of your institution. So we're going to go back to that hockey course. Go to our list of versions and we're going to initial creation here. All right, and then we're going to go to version settings. Then we're going to go to manage ID toolkit and then Elms ID best practices. We'll go to the settings for that. And so we can do select YouTube here. Now, the reason this wasn't pre selected is because I had already saved this page. Uh, which overrode the fact that I had just set the default globally. So, again, now uh, to make these changes active, we need to go to another page. You'll see now we have syllabus help and application shows up. If I click applications now, I get this little card for YouTube. I have a link to YouTube. It would show the logo if I had uploaded one. And then it will also start to show other services in a similar fashion as you add them in here. Um, I can click more info. And now, even though that YouTube piece of content 
was created outside of this, this version, it still appears as if it's in here. So this helps continue to provide context to the student that they are still working within this material while giving them directions potentially about YouTube or you know, whatever you want that's more centrally located. Uh, this way you update the directions on how to use YouTube once and it's propagated to all the courses saying that they use YouTube. Again, you have to have some standard in terms of the way you want to utilize that application, but you could always make different directions for different people. So you could have you know, YouTube as it's presented by one instructor and YouTube as presented by a second um, as a resource and then tap into those resources independently, or you could just put those directions in the, in the help area of course resources. So there is some flexibility there.